Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here for your Cross Watchers Tarot reading. This is purely to the Cross Watchers dealing with each zodiac sign. Um, and this is going to be an interesting reading to see where this person is and what they're feeling at this present moment as you're watching this. So it's going to give you a little bit of insight um, into what's going on with your person. So whichever sign they may be, we're going to go through all the signs here. So but before I get started, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, you can inquire about private readings. I am currently accepting those. Um, otherwise, I'm going to jump straight into it. Kicking off with Aries. Okay, to the cross watchers, if you're dealing with an Aries, let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see where they're at. Okay, Aries, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person right now is not feeling like they can move forward towards a situation and they're not wanting stability um, where things are right now in this current energy. Um, they don't really want labels around them right now, so I feel like they're not making the offers. Um, they're not making movement because the, the moment, the energy, the feelings that they're showing towards you are very much real. And there could be an energy where they're sort of reversing their thoughts and feelings. So I feel like right now this Aries is not taking action towards a situation. Um, they're sort of holding out and waiting. So I feel like they are being stubborn right now about not wanting commitment and not wanting to move forward in a situation. Let's look at the next sign. We've got Taurus. Okay, Taurus, Seven of Cups. Taurus is feeling a little bit all over the place. I feel like there's a lot of emotions and thoughts that are happening around them right now. Um, I feel like Taurus wants a lot of things that they aren't getting or it's like they want everything to line up. And if it doesn't line up, then they don't want it. I feel like they're being a little bit, um, how do I say, possibly being like a little bit unrealistic in, in terms of what they want. But I feel like emotionally they're all over the shop. So I'm getting Taurus is sending through mixed signals because probably them they themselves don't really know what they want. Um, and, you know, they're feeling confused. I feel like they're trying to figure things out here. And I feel like their subconscious is driving them to act a little bit erratically. So if you're seeing Taurus act weird or act cold or, or act hot and cold, chances are they're very confused right now in this moment. They need some time with their emotions. Okay, let's have a look at Gemini. Um, cross watch is dealing with a Gemini. Okay, Gemini is wanting love and commitment. Uh, Gemini is opening themselves up to this relationship and they're going in for the kill. So I feel like uh, there is a Gemini here who wants to deeply connect with you. Um, and there is a Gemini that's wanting more in their uh, more in their life. So I feel like Gemini right now is either looking for a relationship or wanting a relationship. Um, they're talking to other people. They're in a vibration where they want to attract a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, and I feel like there may be an, a, a Gemini here who's falling for you, um, who's even thinking about getting married. Um, okay, this is like the engagement or the marriage card. There is a Leo vibe to this energy, so it makes me feel like Gemini is going to take the initiative. Okay, this person's going to reach out. They're going to maybe even propose or start talking about these things. So really lovely energy here. Gemini's ready for this next step. Okay, Crosswatch is dealing with a Cancer. Okay, Cancer's not doing too well right now. Six of Pentacles, they're not in the best energy. Um, Six of Pentacles is like they're not doing too well or they're asking people for help or they're coming across as desperate or needy. They're not in a good position because they try to bring more balance into their life and they're not getting it. Um, so I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, it's like needing help. So Cancer's needing help. Could be professional help, um, help with a certain financial situation. You know, th there's a message of struggling here. So there could be a Cancer here who's not revealing how much they're struggling with the situation. Um, so I feel like I feel like balance is important to a cancer because they don't have balance in their life right now. They're probably overdoing it. Okay, too much drinking, too much women, too much guys. Like there's no healthy balance in their life right now. Um, and eventually it's going to come to a point where they'll get tired of their own, um, you know, whatever they're doing here. So cancer struggling a little bit. Okay, let's look at Leo. Okay, those dealing with the Leo. Okay, this Leo is wanting to move forward in a situation. Um, I feel like the Leo wants to overcome any sort of emotional drama that you have. They're ready. So I'm getting a sense that this could be around the past. There is a Leo who wants to reconnect with an ex or their ex. Uh, but I feel like there is a Leo that feels this current relationship that they're in is destined for them. Um, and they're in an energy where they want to work on things. Okay, They want to repair things in the relationship. They want to work on things and see how it goes. So 
that's a good sign i feel i feel like there's movement here um towards this uh from this person okay but they're feeling emotional and they're feeling like they want to protect you as well okay let's look at virgo okay if you're dealing with a virgo they're feeling the magician energy okay virgo is in a really really great mood they possibly want to be single though and focus on themselves um i feel like with the magician that they're very happy and high so they're really happy with the way things have been progressing um and they're ready for a new beginning but i really feel like they're trying to show you their best version so i definitely feel as a virgo out there trying to really impress you um they're trying to get you hooked that's what the magician does but i feel like you know, there could be some manipulation going on. I don't think it's anything too heavy. I just feel like this Virgo is trying to manipulate how you see them and they want to put their best foot forward. They want to dazzle you. So, you know, don't be fooled. Not everything you hear and read and know about this person is true. It's them trying to manipulate the way that you see them and they're hoping that you see them. They're definitely in an attention-seeking kind of energy. So I feel like this Virgo is just soaking up the attention, okay? Okay all about them i feel okay leo virgo libra we're up to libra okay libra is in a four of pentacles kind of energy so i feel like there is a libra that's shutting down or withdrawing um this libra right now is wanting stability and they want to be to themselves in this current energy they're not seeing themselves moving forward right now because there's something that they need to focus on internally so i get there's something in their life that's apart from their relationship and any sort of love connection that they need to work on and figure out um before they can move forward okay so i feel like libra is withdrawing it's a shut off energy you're probably not getting much from them right now that's because they're in their mind they're in their heart let them do their thing when they're ready a libra will come to you um but i also get like they're clingy i'm getting someone who's super clingy to you like they don't want to let you go they don't want to let go of the past they're clinging to something here. It might not be the healthiest thing. So I feel like Libra's in a bit of a funk. What's going on here? Um, let's have a look at Scorpio. Okay, so cross watches dealing with a Scorpio. What's their energy? Present moment. Okay, Scorpio's thinking about other options. Could be about a long distance relationship. Um, Scorpio has options coming up, but I feel like they're comparing you. So I'm getting a Scorpio that's thinking what life is going to be like if they weren't with you or what life is like for other people. Like this tells me Scorpio's in two minds about the connection so far. They may even be talking to someone else. Um, they don't want to be locked down right now, but they're not ready to take that risk and lock in anything new anyway. It's just more of a comparing thing that I get, but I, I do feel like they've got options around them. Um, so that's definitely coming up. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius is really buckling down and thinking about things more seriously. Um, for those of you that are dealing with the Sag, this person is thinking very deeply and very seriously about you. So I feel like this is the real deal for them. They are making some big plans for you and them. They want to lock stuff in. I get that this Sag is ready to settle. Um, they're going to take their time though, so be patient with them. But I feel like this Sag is seeing a lot of value to you and what you bring to their life. They probably didn't see it before. It's only coming up now, but it's been on their mind more and more. And I wouldn't be surprised. I really feel like there's a maturity. There's, there's growth that's coming up here. So I feel that a Sagittarius is learning a major lesson about you and about your connection and how they feel about you and the future that you've sort of planned together. Let's look at a cabbie. Okay, Capricorns, not doing too well in terms of emotions. There's a Capricorn energy here where they're feeling neglected or shut down or they feel like this, this Capricorn feels like they've offered you help. They've offered to be there for you, but you've sort of shut them down. So they're like, oh, wow, okay. So um, I feel like they're needing your attention, but they're not showing it. Um, a Capricorn is way too proud to show you that vulnerable side. So chances are it's going on internal and behind the scenes. You're not really seeing it, but I feel like their energy is, you know, they're not doing too well. They feel shut out. They feel neglected. They feel like you're maybe being cold towards them um, or they're, they're not getting the love that they feel like they wanted from you or the attention that they feel like they deserve from you. I definitely don't feel like they're doing too well in the relationship. They're struggling with something here, um, struggling with something on their mind. Um, let's look to the next sign. It's a bit of a speed read. Let's go to Aqua. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aqua, okay, things are getting intense. I feel like 
Aquarius is falling for you and falling for the connection. I feel like Aquarius is coming through with an offer here um, and it's it's super vulnerable and I feel like they're wearing their heart on their sleeves. So straight away I'm getting a I'm getting a vibe that Aqua's going to come through um, and offer you a major connection here. I feel like there's an Aqua that's going to confess their love or they're falling very deeply in love. Things are getting intense um, and I feel like... I feel like they're ready to be vulnerable. I do. I feel like they're ready to deepen the connection, especially if it's been like surface level or really vague, like a really vague connection. It hasn't been one with much depth. I feel like Aquarius is starting to feel like they could be really, really real and raw with you. I mean, that's a really good sign, I feel. Yay. Um, okay, let's look at Pisces. Okay, Pisces sort of fell out. Um, I'm going to read it as a reversal. Okay, Pisces is ready to let go of a situation. Um, okay, let go of any drama or hate or animosity or let go of the past. Pisces is ready to clear the air. So I'm getting a Pisces that wants to restart um, because they're ready to let go. Five of Cups reversed. They don't want to mourn the ending of a relationship anymore. Um, they're healing from things. They're bouncing back. I feel like there might be someone coming through here, some Pisces that want a second chance or to make things right again. So... Um, I feel like there's a Pisces here who's over it, who doesn't want to deal with drama anymore. They just want to have a good time. They want to reconnect. They sort of want to put the past in the past and let bygones be bygones. So I get a strong energy of forgiveness or welcoming you back into their life maybe as well. Um, I'm going to have an extended to this and it's going to be what each sign's next step is, what they're going to sort of do um, next in the relationship or in your connection. So the extended version is going to be below. Thanks so much everyone for watching. It means the world to me. Really appreciate it. Um, okay. I'm going to see you on the other side. So thanks again and bye for now.